All right, cronies, today I'm going to be showing you guys some bulkheads. Uh, I got three different examples of uh, types of bulkheads here. So right away, uh, this is a clip way. I'm using flat stock for the clips, okay? So what I'm showing you there is when I do flat stock clips like this, I, or, or even when I put studs inside the wall like that, I put them right at the elevation, okay? You pick your high side, you make a mark on both sides of the wall, you put your laser on, you see which mark is higher, okay? And then you, you um, set your elevation at the high side. Uh, you do all your layout on the ground for the bulkheads and you laser it up. So get all your layout done on the ground first and then you can laser up, okay? Um, getting You get all your clips in where they need to be. You can see there every two feet on the top track. And I have one on the on the wall side and I'll be able to screw the top of the stud in at the on the top track to the, uh, the adjoining walls, okay? Which you'll see here in a minute. I like to keep it all screwed in so it's super strong and just cut my drywall around it, okay? It just makes it a better, stronger bulkhead. Now you can see I keep the end studs up a quarter inch from the clip, and it, that way I have room to get the bottom track on. And it's simple. This is a simple one for um, like pocket doors inside of this bathroom, but you see me hanging on it right there? I was literally just hanging on it. Super strong. All right, so I got those three clips up there. This is really short. Like, I think it's only five feet wide, okay? And I have three clips, and the end studs are screwed in. So here you can see I got my line laser. I've marked both sides, um, like my elevation. Say it's eight foot, right? And I'm checking both sides. You can see here, okay, that the other side's mark was higher, so I'm going off of that, okay? That'll be the new, the new elevation, okay? You always go off your high side. Right there, you see how I put the clip right at the elevation? That way that I know where to stop my ends and where my side tracks. It's like a mark. It's like an extra mark almost, you know what I mean? And in this situation, I'm using a combination. So pin lasers and line laser. Okay, you get your top track on perfect. And um, and and then um, uh, get it all all nice and, 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 per and perfect, sorry, right? You have your layout on the ground like this. Then you can use uh, you can use a line laser as well. Okay, the line laser is nice for when you're doing your bottom to check that the that that it is also in line as you go because when you're screwing in your studs and squaring off your studs, okay, it can get twisted and bend. So you want to make sure it keeps straight the whole time. You can see there I, I kept the uh, the studs up a quarter inch from the from the clip there. So I have room to put the top track on or the bottom track on. Sorry, when that when it's time for that. And that's, I think, a six-inch bulkhead. I don't think. I know it's a six-inch bulkhead. Uh, so two screws in the top track and, uh, and, and one on each side in the clip is good. And again, clips every two feet. Okay, this side is on the column, so you're shooting it in. You're shooting the, the a piece of stud in to catch your, your, your bottom track. So one of the things I want to mention in this situation here is you see where the side my line laser is? It's on that column. And the reason is uh, I'm starting to put my track in on the far side is I want to work in towards the laser. All right, so if I have to move the track up to see the laser, then I can see it. Okay, so on this situation, I have a pin laser on the ground, uh, checking to make sure that the the bulkhead is is le is le is like level, right? And then I have the the line laser to set elevation. But yeah, just simply cl clamp it in. On the end's easy, right? Because it's already square and perfectly level, right? So I, I just got to screw it in right where the the bottom uh, the of the clip is. Okay, and that's my elevation. And then I'm going to come in somewhere in the wall. I usually come in a 16 before the end of the 10-foot track, and I get that set, right? What I'm doing is I'm checking to make sure that the uh, bottom track is in, a, is in line with the top track by using a pin laser in this situation. And I'm checking the elevation along the way with the, with the, with the line laser. So what I'm doing is I, I kind of I keep the top up or the front side where I am up, and I check the back side with the uh, laser, set it with the clamp, and then I check the front, set it with a clamp. And I'm just transferring down my layout from the top, 
right? 16, 32, 48, blah, 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 right? I'm just, whatever I came out, probably came out 16 half at the top to the first one, right? I'm going to come out 16 half to the first 16 on the bottom. That's all I'm doing is transferring that down. And, at, and then at, the, at which time I can do a quick measurement for the studs as well while I'm in there, okay? When I've done my layout there, I can just make sure, uh, try to pick a size, one size kind of uh, fits all. Some, some bulkheads are extremely sloped, so you have to do different size studs, but... You can see here too, and I'm joining the tracks together. I'm not using that piece of stud. I'm cutting a fishtail, okay? So I'm cutting my track uh, two to four inches longer, okay? Two inches is, is perfectly fine. And I'm slipping it in on the one side and uh, clamping it to the, to the stud that's shot into the beam, right? And because that stud is shot there, I had cut it a quarter inch. Uh, higher than the mark, right? Because I, I want the room for my track to fit on. It doesn't go all the way down to the bottom like the other side where the flat stock is, okay? So just keep that in mind. Uh, when you're clamping in your uh, fishtails like that, you clamp, you put your clamps right in the corner, guys, right in the very, very corner. That way it keeps it straight, okay? And, uh, yeah, uh, make sure when you're screwing it all together, it's straight, and, and that you can check that with your pin laser from the layout on the ground as well, okay? And then it'll line up on the other side. So you, on a bulkhead this long, if you checked plum uh, level like a couple times, you're good. <laughs> you're absolutely good because your ends are, are, are secure, right? And, uh, and, and now your bulkhead will be perfectly straight. Like, look at that. Boom, baby, boom. Okay, and you see I only put two screws in the fishtail down there even? That's how it's done, son. Okay. So keep that in mind. There's one more bulkhead coming. Out. I want you guys to wait to the end of the video. There's a really cool ad I made for uh, for uh, for an app you guys might like, and I worked really hard on it. I hope you guys stay to the end and watch this video. This is a doorway um, on the other side of a column. So there's a column inside of this wall, and then there's a doorway, right? It's another pocket door. So we need to put a, a bulkhead in for the pocket door in this situation. So the wall is going to carry on like the, that column isn't even there. Okay, so you, you set your centers, your 16s. You see right there the studs above the my marks, quarter inch, okay? And I, I can already do the layout on the bottom track before I even screwed in because I, I have the marks on the top track. I'm simply just transferring it down to the bottom. It's simple as that, okay? So you see how I got that on? In a situation like this, I don't got to plumb up the middle, okay, because that is not going to bend <laughs> that top track or that bottom track isn't going to bend it's going to be perfectly straight so i don't need to uh put a line laser on that okay i will check it with the with the um line laser okay see right there for elevation in the middle i will make sure that it's perfectly uh flat on the elevation and lastly i'm going to be carrying my centers over from the wall into the bulkheads okay so if you're ever in a situation like this always carry the 16s from from the wall into your bulkhead so the sheets can hook the corner of the bulkhead itself, okay? I'll usually put a sheet in and stop it at the first stud. If you work for yourself, say you're a realtor or a contractor, and you keep track of receipts and expenses, SimplyWise is the best app out there for $23.99 a year to digitize paper with unlimited scans and storage, $59.99 a year to do that, and to export itemized expenses into spreadsheets so that you never miss a tax deduction. SimplyWise organizes all of your documents in one place. It's perfect for recording receipts on the go. Then export them into a spreadsheet for tax time with each category totaled up so that you never miss a write-off again. The app could not be easier to use. You take a photo of a receipt or a bill, and it instantly digitizes and categorizes it. No more envelopes or drawers of receipts. The old glove compartment box, right? Search for what you need when you need it. At tax time, export a spreadsheet of your receipt data with totals by category and maximize your deductions with less effort. I'm gonna leave a link to SimpyWise down in the video description. Not only will it make your life easier, but it really helps the channel and it's gonna give you a lot more time for